So this is one of the tools you may use to create your iPad. Again, some of you will want to hand draw these frames, and you'll, I'm going to show a tutorial of that. Um, I'm not looking for super detailed drawings, but if you wish to spend time on each frame, well, I certainly encourage that. Some of you are more comfortable using digital illustrations or digital work. So this is what the icon will look like. You will upload this app from self-service, and I'm going to hit it right now. So what you're going to see when you start, I'm going to go back to the beginning, is I have a commercial. Okay, this is Fair Life Milk. You, maybe you have a few different ideas. So I am going to hit my commercial idea, and I've kind of got this laid out. You're going to have frames, and you can add a frame at any time by hitting this little plus button in the lower right corner. Um, you can see I'm kind of sticking with my script here woman pull, plunging a toilet and I just sketched really quickly. I'm going to show you how you do those. This is your, you really don't need to hit these buttons. The blue pencil actually serves as what you're going to use to draw. You can change the color at any time by hitting this and you have to hit the screen for that to go away and that will be your color. You can make a selection. This little 5.0 just makes my pencil bigger. If I want to erase something, I push the little eraser button. Again, I can adjust the size for the eraser. Um, I can also just push undo and redo. I can also add a new frame by pushing the add button to that. What's kind of cool about using this Storybook app is if I hit this little arrow, it gives me a dialogue box. It gives me an action that's going to happen within that frame or those three seconds. And SFX, which is special effects sounds. Okay, and I have a big sigh, beans. Woman is plunging her toilet and flushing sound in the background. You, there is a flushing sound, I believe, on iMovie. If not, you could actually record that and add it into your piece. There's also over here a little time clock. I can hit that and that lets me adjust. I can go in and hand do that, but that I could move it so it's two seconds, three seconds. I can add up and down. So and if I want to get out of that, I just push down on that. And then I want to go to the next frame. I just push this little arrow. So I am going to push this little arrow. My next frame is the woman. She cut her finger. Again, the top blue pencil doesn't mean it's blue, it's actually black. If I wanted to change the color, again, I could push a button and it would change the color. That's how I got the red blood where she is bleeding. And yes, I have cut my finger while I'm cooking. I think you can guess by now that I'm going to be starring in this video. Um, I haven't actually created the commercial yet. My husband is owns a grocery store, so he's been working till midnight every night. So he's gonna have to help me shoot this. So, you know, I'm. Just like you, I have to kind of work with my family, and unfortunately, it's my cat and I, and she doesn't know how to hold a cell phone camera. My next frame, and I have the dialogue box for that too. Beans, woman cuts her finger in the kitchen, and there's gonna be a music, wah, wah, wah. Arrow down, next frame. And then I'm gonna to go to my home button, which is the file over here. So you can kind of see each frame, I have something she's gonna realize she's wearing Two different shoes, remember, that was my third frame and I have 1.3 here. 1.4, she realizes she has spinach in her teeth and that was my number four. She realizes she has spinach in her teeth. Um, my text box, I haven't added the woman steps on the scale frame, but if I want to, which is kind of cool about this, if you want to move a frame, you can just drag it and slide it over and move your frames up around like that. So that's a pretty easy feature. So like I said, I need to add a frame after this frame. So I'm going to go ahead, put the spinach button up there, and I'm going to push plus. And that is going to be my new 1.5. And my woman steps on scale 1.5. Now remember, I was going to do a close-up of her face when she's on the scale. So I'm going to go ahead and do another add button. And that will be 1.6. Now, if I go back, I should have two empty frames, and I do. So I'm just gonna move along. So the text frame, 1.7, because life isn't always fair. 
And there's my text frame. That's not going to how it's going to actually look, although that, that's okay. And my eighth frame is her pouring a glass of milk. She's smiling. So I'm showing the product here. It's important to show that product. And then I'm going to do a close up in my ninth frame, close up of her smiling with the upper milk lip. And then the last frame, which I haven't done yet, I'm going to do a close up of the empty glass. So what I'm going to do right now is really quickly show you how to do. So I'm going to make the size of my pencil a little bit. Usually if you start about seven or 6.8, that's a pretty good size. So I'm going to try to hold this from a distance and draw. It's kind of hard to see. So I'm going to tilt it at an angle and I'm just drawing an empty glass. You can see this is very crude because I'm, I want to make sure I keep the angle Again, I'm gonna show my product here. And I'm gonna show you how to change that color. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like colored on. So I'm just gonna pick a blue, a brighter blue. Hit the screen so the color goes away. And then right now, it's the same size. I'm just gonna fill it in a little quicker. So I'm gonna make that size of my brush or pencil a little larger. And I'm gonna go like this. Again, I'm illustrating the projects product of Fairlife. I'm not going to worry so much about writing Fairlife on there. I know what that's representing. I can see it. It's illustrated. So that's a real quick drawing. That's kind of all I'm expecting from you from this. Now, I didn't fill out this dialogue box. And so there really isn't dialogue in this, except for I'm going to do voiceover. And it just types in like a keyboard. So I will type in um, voiceover. Oops, voice over. And that's where I'm going to do There's Fair Life. Okay, so I'm going to do a little quotation marks. And I'm hoping this is in the frame for you. And so my voiceover is there's fair life. It thinks it's spelled wrong, but that's the actual. And that will be the end. Um, I probably will have some sort of a nice little flourish of music. If any of you are musicians out there, this is the time to maybe if you want to write a jingle, something catchy and you have that... Um, band app that Mr. and Mrs. McCormick use, or you have something else you use. Remember guys, you cannot use somebody else's music. You can use up to like 10 seconds, but then you need to disguise it somehow like I do sometimes in Snapchat. Or their Ben Sounds has a lot of, so you can download bensounds.com and you can actually get music sounds from there. So this would be the digital way to, and I'm gonna put my down button, shut my dialogue. I have a blue mark over here, so I'm just going to use that moment to show you how to erase. And there she goes. She's gone. So, digital way. In the next video, I will show you how to create a quick, um, and I don't think quite simply as fun, on paper. Thank you, guys.